I have some huge news to share with you all today regarding stimulus checks and Social Security benefits. The Social Security Administration just announced that new $1,800 stimulus checks will be deposited into beneficiaries' accounts as early as today. In the first four minutes, let's focus on the exciting news itself. This is absolutely huge. After years of stagnant Social Security benefits and no new stimulus since 2021, the SSA is finally stepping up to provide more relief to Americans. With inflation being so high and the economy still shaky, this increased aid could not come at a better time. $1,800 is a massive stimulus check, much more than previous rounds. This really shows the SSA's commitment to helping those who need it most right now. The last few years have been so difficult, with the pandemic, inflation, political unrest. This stimulus is a light at the end of the tunnel for many elderly and disabled Americans who rely on Social Security. What amazing news to start 2024. This $1,800 check will go so far to help cover rising costs for food, housing, medical care, and more. I know we could all use some extra money right now. Let's take a minute to let this all sink in. The SSA is literally depositing $1,800 into people's accounts, possibly as early as today. How incredible is that? All right, now that we've covered the huge news itself in depth, let's discuss the rest of the details so you know exactly what to expect. First, who qualifies for this new $1,800 stimulus check? The payments are only being issued to current Social Security beneficiaries. This includes retirement, disability, and survivor beneficiaries. So if you already receive monthly Social Security checks, then you're eligible. No need to apply or do anything else. The SSA will automatically deposit the money. In order to receive your stimulus, you must have an active direct express card account set up to receive benefits. If you normally get checks mailed to your home, you'll want to quickly sign up for Direct Express so you don't miss out. Make sure your mailing address and other info is up to date as well. The SSA needs your current details to get your check to you. Do you receive SSI, VA benefits, or other federal aid? Unfortunately, this new stimulus is only for Social Security beneficiaries at this time. But advocates are pushing for additional relief for others who need it. When will the checks go out? As I mentioned earlier, the SSA said the $1,800 payments could start hitting accounts as early as today. Of course, it will take some time to process and distribute all of these new stimulus payments. The rollout is expected to continue over the next few weeks. So you may not see the money right away. But it's definitely coming if you're eligible. Will the stimulus be taxable or count as income that could impact your benefits? The good news is that the SSA says this payment will not be considered income of any kind. It will be tax-free and won't affect your eligibility for Social Security or other federal programs. $1,800 of pure stimulus cash to spend or save however you need. What should you do with the money once you receive it? My advice is to put it towards your most urgent needs first. Catch up on bills, stock up on groceries and essentials, pay medical expenses, treat yourself to something special. Then, if there's any left, try to tuck it away in savings if possible. Building up an emergency fund is always wise. This stimulus provides a great opportunity to get ahead on bills, pay down debt, and gain some financial security. Be smart with how you use the funds. $1,800 goes quickly, so really plan and prioritize how this money can improve your life the most. For many Social Security recipients, this check will be an absolute lifeline during tough economic times. No one expected new stimulus in 2024, let alone such a large amount. This $1,800 will ease a lot of financial stress. What a game changer! In a huge win for Vermont parents and children, Governor Phil Scott recently signed a bill approving one-time $1,000 checks per child for families making less than $175,000 a year. This new child tax credit will provide critical financial relief to tens of thousands of Vermont families. Under this new program, Vermont parents will receive $1,000 for each child under the age of 6 as of December 31, 2022. So if you have a 4-year-old and a 2-year-old, you'll be getting a $2,000 stimulus payment. How incredible is that? Now I don't know about you, but an extra $1,000 or $2,000 would make a huge difference for my family. That money could cover groceries, 
childcare, medical bills, you name it. This stimulus is going to be a complete game changer for so many Vermont parents struggling to make ends meet. And the income limits are pretty generous too. Single parents making under $125,000 a year or joint filers making under $175,000 a year will qualify for the full $1,000 per child credit. If you make more than that, your credit is reduced by $20 for every $1,000 over the limit. So even middle-class families will benefit from this program. It's not just for low-income Vermonters. The governor wanted to make sure this financial relief reaches as many children and families as possible, which is amazing. Now you might be wondering what's the catch? When can I expect to see this money? Well, the great news is there's no complicated application process for this. If you file the 2022 Vermont tax return and claim dependents under six, you'll automatically get your child tax credit check in the mail later this year. It doesn't get any easier than that. The state tax department says the checks will start going out in July, so parents should see that extra money in their bank accounts this summer, just in time for back-to-school shopping and expenses. I don't know about you, but I can't wait. And even if you recently moved to Vermont, you can still qualify for this tax credit. The only requirement is that you lived in Vermont for some portion of 2022 and filed a state tax return here. So if you spent even a month or two in Vermont last year and had a child under six during that time, you can get back up to $1,000 of your Vermont income. It's an amazing deal. Honestly, this new Vermont child tax credit puts every other state to shame. I can't think of a single other state that is giving parents $1,000 or more per child. It just shows how progressive and family-friendly Vermont's policies are. While in D, C, they still haven't approved a nationwide child tax credit or stimulus payment, Vermont is stepping up to take care of its own. I really hope more local governments follow their lead. Hardworking parents everywhere deserve this kind of financial relief. And the benefits for Vermont families don't stop there. Get this the new law also increases the earned income tax credit for low-income Vermonters. So parents getting the $1,000 child credit will likely also qualify for an expanded tax credit on their earnings. More money in your pocket. On top of that, Vermont recently raised the minimum wage to $13.18 an hour, giving a raise to over 70,000 workers. And they are working on making childcare more affordable too. Clearly Vermont is on a mission to support working families. As a parent myself, I'm super impressed by all of this. So let's do a quick recap of this great news for you parents out there. If you lived in Vermont in 2022 and filed a state tax return, you'll automatically receive a $1,000 stimulus check this summer for every child under 6 years old. Single parents making under $125,000 and couples making under $175,000 will get the full credit. Your family has to do absolutely nothing but sit back and wait for your check to arrive in July. No complicated forms or applications required. And you don't even need a social security number to qualify, making this help accessible to all Vermont families in need. This is a massive investment in Vermont's children that will lift thousands of households out of poverty. $1,000 per kid is no joke, that's real money that will pay for food, housing costs, healthcare, and more. I truly wish more states cared about children and families like Vermont does. So please do me a favor and share this video with any parents you know in Vermont or anyone considering a move there. This child tax credit needs to reach every eligible family in the state. If you found this news helpful be sure to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming stimulus updates. According to recent reports, there is growing momentum in Congress to provide additional economic relief to Americans still struggling from the impacts of the pandemic. Given the current high inflation environment and economic uncertainties, many lawmakers see stimulus checks as a potential solution to help offset rising costs for individuals and families. While nothing is guaranteed yet, it seems possible that a new round of stimulus checks could be approved sometime this year, with amounts likely ranging from $12 to $2,000 for qualifying individuals. Key figures in the administration have voiced support for additional direct payments. Of course, the devil is in the details. There will certainly be debate around the exact income limits and phase-outs. But early proposals suggest checks could go to individuals earning up to $75,000 per year and married couples earning up to $150,000.
Beyond just stimulus checks, enhancements to the child tax credit are also on the table. Expansions to this credit helped millions of families last year, so many lawmakers are pushing to continue this. Now in addition to possible new stimulus checks, major changes may also be coming to Social Security. Some legislators are calling for a guaranteed minimum benefit to ensure that career-long low-wage workers can retire with dignity. Other Social Security reform proposals include changes to cost-of-living adjustments to keep up with inflation, cutting taxes on benefits, and increasing contribution limits. With the future of Social Security facing uncertainty, lawmakers know they must take action to shore up the program. This could mean gradually raising the retirement age or increasing Social Security payroll taxes. Of course, all of these potential changes would require extensive negotiations and legislative processes before becoming law. But the wheels are in motion. All right, so there you have the latest details and analysis on possible 2024 stimulus checks and reforms to Social Security. I know that was a lot of crucial information, so feel free to rewind and listen again if you need. Now let's shift gears a bit. In the next section of this video, I'll walk through exactly how these stimulus checks would work, who would qualify, and how you can prepare to claim your payment. First and foremost, eligibility would be based on your adjusted gross income from your most recent tax return. Single filers earning under $75,000 per year would likely get the full stimulus amount. The check values would phase out for incomes above that, up to around $100,000 where they phase out completely. Married couples filing jointly could get double the individual amounts, so $2,400 per person, as long as their income is below $150,000. Above that up to around $200,000, the checks would phase out incrementally above the income threshold. Additionally, recipients of Social Security Retirement, Disability, Survivor Benefits, as well as railroad retirement benefits would also qualify for stimulus payments. Dependents may also be eligible for additional funds, with congressional proposals including $500 for each dependent child. This would help larger families cover costs. Now, if you receive previous stimulus checks by a direct deposit, that would likely be the delivery method again. The IRS already has your bank account information on file, which allows them to send payments quickly and securely right into your account. If you didn't provide direct deposit information previously, then your stimulus check would arrive by mail as a paper check or debit card. But it will take longer to receive it this way. To maximize your chances of getting a stimulus payment as soon as possible, experts recommend filing your tax return as early as you can this year, even if you normally wait until closer to April. This gives the IRS your verified income, contact, and direct deposit information. Additionally, making sure your banking and personal information is up to date on your tax forms will help streamline delivery of your check. Reporting income changes like having a child is important too. Waiting to take action could mean facing delays and getting your stimulus payment. So get ahead of the game by planning now before checks are approved. Beyond stimulus checks, the proposed Social Security changes could also put more money in your pocket. Raising cost of living adjustments would mean higher benefits keeping pace with rising prices. And a higher minimum benefit guarantees a baseline of income in retirement. To understand exactly how much your Social Security payments could increase based on the proposed changes, be sure to check your online account portal on ssa.gov. This will show your estimated future benefits based on current law, which you can compare to new proposals. Preparing for higher Social Security payments may allow you to adjust your retirement saving and spending plans accordingly. And if the tax-free income threshold is increased, you'd pay less in taxes on your benefits, leaving you with more income. So factor that into your long-term financial strategy too. Filing before that shrinks your payments. For example, claiming at 62 cuts benefits by up to 30%. But waiting until age 70 to file can permanently increase payments by up to 32%. The right age for you depends on factors like your life expectancy, income sufficiency, and spouse's benefit. There's no one-size-fits-all answer. I suggest using Social Security's Retirement Estimator tool online to plug in scenarios and see how much your monthly payments differ depending on when you claim benefits. It also shows your estimated payments based on your actual earnings record. Finally, when you are ready to file for Social Security, you can now do so online in as little as 15 minutes. 
simply go to ssa.gov and click Apply for Benefits. Have your bank account and routing number handy so they can set up direct deposit. The online application has made it easier than ever for millions of Americans to securely file for retirement benefits from the comfort of home. Take advantage of that if you prefer not to visit a local Social Security office. Speaking of when to file for Social Security, most experts recommend waiting until your full retirement age if possible. That's age 66 or 67 for current workers. This brings up a good point while delaying Social Security will boost your eventual payments, most financial advisors say benefits should replace no more than 40% of your pre-retirement income. Relying solely on Social Security for support is risky. Building up other savings is key.